Welcome to the library. This tour video will tell you what you need to know about getting the most out of the facilities to help you study. You'll be spending a lot of time here while you're at York, which is a good thing. Students who make most use of the library in person and online usually get the highest degrees. There's a lot more than just books here. There's collaborative study space, audio-visual facilities, hundreds of PCs. The library can save you time and help your marks get better. It's open 24 hours a day, 362 days a year. The library never sleeps. This is the help desk on the ground floor of the JB Morrell Library. Now here, it's kind of a one-stop shop to help you with any queries that you might have, from basic how to find stuff to more complex how to use online resources. And if they can't help you, they'll put you in touch with someone who can. Dotted around the library are catalogue PCs like this one. They run your search, the library search tool. Just type your search term in and your search brings back results for books, DVDs, CDs, journals and lots of other things too. And tells you where to find them in the library or gives you links to them online. We're after an economics book which is on the first floor. We are here. Economics is in the yellow section, which is this way. Also on this floor and on the next floor is a PC room, print copy scan machines, and there are individual and group study rooms which you can book online. There's a link on the library homepage. Here's the economics section. The shelf mark for each book is written on its spine. We just need to follow the letters and numbers along until we get to the one we need. Here's our book. All books are issued and returned on the ground floor. You can issue a book to yourself any time of day or night using one of these self-service machines. At York, you can keep regular loans for as long as you like without being fined, unless someone else requests the book, in which case you'll need to bring it back quickly. The library will email you when the book is needed back, otherwise you can keep confirming the loan online once a month. When you do have to bring it back, take it to the book return point, also on the ground floor. Returning books is really simple. You literally just put the book into the machine and it does the rest. It will print you a receipt to acknowledge you've returned the book. Make sure you get one. Opposite the book return point is the key text collection. When everyone on a module is studying the same book and it's really important to the course, your lecturer will put the book in key texts. This means that unlike regular books which you can take out for a month at a time, you can only borrow these key texts for four hours at a time. This ensures that everyone gets a turn. You can book your four hour slot online so you won't have any wasted journeys to the library. Key text books need to be issued in the key text area or else they'll set off the alarm and return them to the same place. In that direction is the Borthwick Institute for Archives and the Special Collections Department. Remember that archives aren't just old manuscripts and pictures. York has contemporary archives too, like the complete works of famous playwrights and concert recordings. If you're working on a big project, it's worth going and asking if the Borthwick has any materials that might be relevant. They may have something completely unique to York that you can't find anywhere else in the world. We're trying to digitise as much as possible. You can browse Yodel, the digital library, which is being added to all the time. Pretty much all journals are kept here in the compact stores on the ground floor. And that's it for the JB Morrell Library. Let's head next door to the Harry Fairhurst building. As well as the print journals in the compact store, the library subscribes to thousands of electronic journals on your behalf. You can access them online from home or from PC rooms like this one on the ground floor of the Fairhurst building. The audiovisual collection contains all of the library's DVDs and CDs, plus equipment to play them on. You'll need to use this machine to issue the DVDs and CDs to yourself before you can open the box. This is the first floor of the Harry Fairhurst building. The IT support office is just behind me here. They can help you with computer problems, printer queries, Wi-Fi issues, whatever you need. 
The first floor is dedicated to group study. This is all flexible working space with tables and chairs that can be put together in different ways. You can plug up to four laptops into these screens and cycle between them, like this. Useful for group work. Every subject has a dedicated academic liaison librarian who will help you with finding what you need, online resources and so on. And you can book an appointment with them one-to-one -one via email. And when you do, their offices are here. The top floor is full of study spaces and there are loads more PCs up here too. You can connect your laptop using an Ethernet cable, or there's Wi-Fi everywhere. If you're a postgraduate, you have access to the Research Lounge. You can find out more about that at the Help Desk. However you like to work, there'll be a style of seating to suit you up here. You can even write on the walls. And don't forget, on the ground floor of the JP Morrell Library is the cafe for lunch or refreshments. If you need any help, just ask and enjoy your time at the library.